This is a fetus with a large heart. The large heart is made up mostly of the left atrium. The left ventricle looks like it's working all right, and the right ventricle looks like it's working quite well. But when you look again, note that the right ventricle is working significantly more than the left ventricle, and there's truly a very poor squeeze of the left ventricle. The left atrium is made large by tricus I'm sorry, by mitral valve regurgitation. And the mitral valve regurgitation is caused by aortic stenosis. So there is a critical aortic stenosis with significant mitral valve regurgitation because of the left ventricular outflow tract obstruction. So the right ventricle is normal, left ventricle is hypertrophied and also at a very high velocity. There's also an increased pressure in the left atrium so that you can see pulmonary venous reversal of flow. This also tends to close off the foramenal valley, although here we can see a little left to right shunting at the foramenal valley. Now we see the streak of blood above the tight aortic valve, which is probably unicuspid unicommissural valve. Again, a giant left atrium. And notice what it does to the posterior structures, including the esophagus. This baby went on to have uh, polyhydramnios because of swallowing difficulties and did not do particularly well. Tomographic view slowed down from 3D of the flow across that tight aortic valve. 